We are headed boondocking and it's time to do some meal planning. I thought I would take you on the journey with me. Uh, for every day that we are boondocking uh, without power or you know normal resources, we plan two meals a day. We plan breakfast and then we plan dinner. Uh, generally speaking, we're off-roading during the day, so we pack a lunch and have that while we're out off-roading. So, uh, so far on the menu is chili. Uh, we love to make chili. It's such a good, hearty camping food, and it lasts really good and tastes even better as days go on. So right when we get there, we're going to make some chili because we're going to use it later in the week. Um, we're going to do some skillets of vegetables uh, and meat. This is one of my absolute favorite things to do um, because it's super easy. You know, you get back from a long day, you just throw all the vegetables <laughs> into a, a big old cast iron skillet. You let it cook down, uh, have your meat in there as well. And that is our dinner. It's delicious. It's easy. One pan cleanup, super easy. Um, coming back to that chili, we're also going to have some Navajo tacos. So our Indian fry bread, I think is what it's called sometimes as well. We're from Arizona. It's something we absolutely love and we love to do while we're out boondocking and camping. So we take a big thing of oil and we're going to fry some bread in there, which will be so delicious. And then put that chili on top with all the fixings. Oh, it's so good. I'm really looking forward to that. Also, anytime we heat up a big pot of oil, I'm going to make some donuts. So we'll definitely be having some donuts while we're out there camping as well. And then we are definitely going to do some foil dinners. This is the last thing formally on my menu right now, uh, which is where you, you pack a tin foil uh, piece with vegetables and meat and seasonings, whatever it is that, that you want to cook there. And we just throw it right in the fire. That's going to be an awesome uh, Saturday evening meal for us after we've been off-roading all day. So that's what we've got so far. I do have a whole list of things that I start with, which is any food that's going to go bad before we leave or won't make it through the whole trip. So we make sure we consume that between now and when we leave and get refreshments for while we're on the road. I'll be working on a plan to help folks do more meal planning in this way. If you would love to see it, make sure you're following us and uh, send me a note in the comments below.